So the next step in our pipeline is to go ahead and actually build our control rig. So if we click on that, it's going to ask us to publish our character. Now this will actually take all the work you've done so far, put a rig on it, and get it out to our animators. To publish our character, first you need to select a project. We have none, so let's go ahead and create one. Call this sample. And we'll call our guy sample character. Now if you look under the advanced tab, what you'll see is the ability to add a post build script. So if you know Mel or you know Python, what you can do here is add your own Mel or Python script that will get executed once the rig has been built. So if you want to do anything extra, hook up morph targets or whatever you want to do, you can do it in your post build script and it will execute at the end. Let's go ahead and hit build. It's going to ask us to take a thumbnail screenshot. This will be used in the animation UIs. And now it's off to build. So you can see it put it in our T pose that we had created. That was our rig pose. Now what it's going to do during the build phase is it's going to create a new scene reference in that file that we were just working in, so it saves it out, then references it in, which you can see here, and then it goes ahead and it builds the rig on top, which is, you can see the progress down there at the bottom of our published character UI. The whole process takes about under a minute. Now, if you had a post build script, it would happen right here. And when it is finished, you'll get this prompt that tells you what files were created. You can go ahead and search for those files on your drive by clicking on the magnifying glass next to each one. And then you can go ahead and you can go right into editing the rig file if you want. So this would be if you wanted to manually hook something up or manually change something, you could go and do that. Or we can hit close. And that's all it takes to get a character out to your animators. Uh, just so you don't have to go to the animation videos, I'll show you exactly where animators can access this. So up in Epic Games, we go to Add Character for Animation. Under our sample project, we have our sample character. There's his thumbnail, and then we can add him to the scene. We can add as many instances of him as we want. And uh, that's it.